in terms of putting chlorine into public water supplies, what does the chlorine actually do? The chlorine is a disinfectant, so it will kill the germs. Why then do we add it to the public water supply? Um, it's been added to the water supply because of concerns of bacterial contamination that might cause illness in the population. In New Zealand, this came to light um, after the Havelock situation where a lot of people became ill from water contamination and a few people very sadly died. Tasman has looked at its water supply and it can't guarantee a safe supply all the time. So um, contamination can occur in the water pipes on its transmission to households. So by putting chlorine in, um, that ensures a disinfection that's working at the tap um, when you open the tap up. So how safe is it to use chlorine? Chlorine is is a safe chemical to use. It's been used since 1897 uh, in Maidstone, where there'd been a lot of people that were ill from um, infectious disease there. Um, it's also widely used in New Zealand, uh, and it's protected millions, um, if not billions of people worldwide, because worldwide water safety remains a significant issue and cause of ill health. Stephen, what are the consequences for public water supplies if there isn't sufficient disinfection if it hasn't got chlorine treatment? There's a risk that it will be contaminated um, with germs or bacteria that can cause illness. And uh, there's evidence that from time to time, the water supply in Tasman does get contaminated, hence the reason for introducing chlorination to protect the public from the potential of a waterborne outbreak. So is there monitoring of chlorine in the supply? Chlorine is monitored by the suppliers and as are other chemicals in the supply. And uh, that is then um, assessed and audited by a drinking water assessor that's a member of the public health team. And another safety question, is chlorinated water safe for people on dialysis machines? Yes, it is safe. And the local dialysis uh, senior medical officer is very happy that we're chlorinating the water. It causes no problems for dialysis. If people feel they might have a sensitivity to chlorine, uh, what's your advice to them? Yes, there, there is some uh, uh, anecdotal evidence that uh, you know, chlorine can irritate the skin, although it's not uh, proven in the public water supply. But if anybody's got any concerns, they should seek advice. There's free advice available from Healthline, or they can seek their pharmacist um, if they have getting an exacerbation of eczema or something like that, which is a common skin condition, or see their own general practitioner who can talk it through because there are, of course, lots of causes for skin conditions. Stephen, as a medical officer of health, when should chlorine be used in a public water supply? When there's a significant risk of contamination um, that may lead to an outbreak of disease and ill health in people really important we prevent uh, illness rather than dealing with the consequences which can be severe and as we've seen in Havelock can include people dying. For more information including the consultation document and supporting information head to tasman.govt.nz forward slash feedback. Consultation closes Friday September 4.